What is going on guys? Meryl here. Today we're going to be taking a look at a way to reach the Faroom Azula zone, which is on the far right side of the map. If you guys have opened it up, you'll see it's kind of an isolated area. And uh, of course, if you have no, uh, you know, no knowledge on this, then you probably wouldn't be watching this video, but just, you know, there are some spoilers here, just, so just keep that in mind. Uh, so, at the end of the game, when you want to reach this area, Faroom Azula, you have to burn the fire. And that is burning the Erd Tree, this beautiful golden Erd Tree that we see the entire game. It just burns, and then there's the particles that fall down around you constantly. So what this trick does basically subverts that. We don't we don't have to deal with that with that burning anymore. We can still reach the area. So that's great if you want to go you know fight the hidden dragon boss there or whatever it is. You want to go get the, your your smithing stones, but you don't want to go into a new game, which is the reason why I went into new game. And this is a new game plus save here. It's the reason why I went into the new game plus is because of the particles. So what we're going to do is come to the four belfries. So you can see there's four towers here at the four belfries on the left side of the map. And you can come here early at any time you don't have to fight any bosses. Uh, the fourth tower at the top has an imbued sword key. So we're going to go ahead and grab that. Of course, you can have one from elsewhere. But uh, we can just get this key here. And let's, we're, we're going to use the key to, to reach a uh, section of the Faroom Azula that is uh, you know, separate from where we're trying to go. But if we use this strategy, then we can reach the other areas. So from the top, the fourth tower, which is at where I'm at right now, where I just got the key. It's not the fourth tower, it's not the third tower, it's not the second tower, but the first tower. So this is the third tower here. Over here, uh, to, the, to the very right side here, you'd see the, the second tower. And this is the first tower. Uh, so this is the tower that we want to take. So we want to take that key and come over to this tower here. And I love this trick just because, like I said, it really was an issue for me, not only with performance on PC, uh, adding more stutters, to an already game that the game that's not you know excellently optimized just yet, you know an incredible game at that. But of course it's not you know excellently optimized just yet, and uh, so it was giving me stutters and giving me all these issues. So this is a great way to reach that area without dealing with that at all, and you can have a, a clean game. You can have everything on your game and have your Erd tree be in perfectly good shape. So you can see from this spot we come to this little isolated area on the Faroom Azula. So forgive me if I'm not saying that correctly. But we come to this little isolated area. And uh, you can see, you know, that's the four belfries all the way on the other side of the map. That's where we started. That's the tower that we just took. So what we want to do to get this trick to work is we want to, which is, um, I wish I would just do it because I'm, you know, I'm talking over my recording here. We want to go ahead and teleport to a, the Table of Lost Grace. So as we're teleporting to the Table of Lost Grace, we want to go ahead and just close our game entirely. So if we're on PC, we can use Alt plus F4 to close the game right away. Uh, assuming you're on console, I'm not 100% sure uh, the method to close it, but I assume it works in a similar way. So look to close your game. As soon as you get into that load screen, look to close your game down. All right, so now we get back to the game. You know, it tells us we close the game incorrectly. And then we go ahead and continue. As you can see, we get taken to this new spot on the crumbling for Rimazula. I've said that so many times now. And uh, this is a spot that's actually connected to the rest of it and will actually get us to the rest of this section of the map. As you can see, we have that beautiful golden Erd tree. There are no particles coming down from the sky. There are no, you know, I mean, there's still you know, minor stutters. I'm sure, you, I'm sure you've probably seen a couple of them. But uh, it's uh, it, it improves performance. I like the way that it looks with the normal Erd tree. I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of the fire Erd tree. You know, maybe you are because it does look, look kind of epic having those embers coming down. But remember, once you burn that fire, it's permanent. So uh, for a first playthrough, I totally understand doing it because, you know, for completion sake and everything like that and to be correct. But for my second playthrough, I really love this trick because now I can reach this area. And I, you know, I've, I've already said this, but it's just it's just it's just wonderful to be able to reach this area and not have to worry about those uh, those fire embers coming down, and I just prefer to look a lot. So so I'll speed up a little section here, just how to reach a grace. I get murked a little bit touching the grace because the guys are pretty beefy here. You know, it's a, it's a end game area, and the guys are pretty beefy, so keep that in mind. Hopefully hit your grace, you can, you know, that means that you can just come back at any time. You don't have to worry about all of that shenanigans, so that's great. Hopefully this helped you guys out. You know, I think that, if uh, you know you don't want to have your tree burning, this is just this is just great. Uh, hopefully, it's you know, almost an intentional, because uh, 
God, that was bad. I did not enjoy the tree burning, and this is a great fix, and my new game plus is looking pristine because of it. So to end the video off, I just go ahead and teleport back to the original starting point where we started this video and this explanation of how to do this. And uh, you can see the tree. Ho, 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 he's looking good. And uh, we don't have any any issues. I mean, we can just teleport back and forth. It doesn't mess with the game save at all. And uh, there we go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.